Hi, welcome to Insider Yachting. Been a very busy month for us here with plenty of new clients, lots of the daily yacht tours, uh, plenty of yacht packs being sent out and uh, lots of people in uh, great boats and enjoying their time on the water. So we're gonna look to continue that momentum into the boat show. Uh, which is coming up here in Fort Lauderdale in just a few weeks time. Uh, the guides are almost complete for the show so we'll be sending them out to you uh, very very shortly. Now we have a special yacht review for you today. We're only going to be reviewing the one uh, boat. We have a walkthrough video to go along with this brochure review. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube on a PC then you should be seeing the links come up just over here on the right hand side. If not, then the link uh, should be below the window to the walkthrough and also back to the website inside the yachting where you'll find all the links to the uh, yacht packs and, and all the great information there. So be sure to get yourself over to the website. Now, the boat that we have for you today is called Kakawi. And the reason that we're just concentrating on this boat today is because it's such a great opportunity for someone to get a virtually brand new boat for uh, almost 30% less than what the um, build cost would be for an equivalent boat like this. Very low hours, had all the warranty issues uh, worked out on the boat, so it's a fantastic opportunity um, and, a, and a gorgeous, gorgeous boat uh, in its own right. So um, let's get stuck into the review and, and take a look at the brochure. Now, this is the um, cover shot here Kikari. so it's a beautiful trawler style boat it's a marlow it was built in 2011 97 feet long but it has a beautiful extension on the uh, aft the swim platform which takes her up to uh, right around 101 feet so really really nice boat beautiful color uh, it's actually a very very deep green color that the hull it almost looks blue but it's not it's slightly green uh, 2011 as I mentioned 97 feet with that platform 101 the draft a great draft for this size boat uh, eight foot uh, sorry five foot eight inches the other length that you can see there um, six foot so that's the difference between half load and, and full load there built by Marlow uh, they have quite a few boats that are um, being built now it's going to be a very very popular brand uh, for the uh, sort of trawler style fans and it's easy to see why. Um, the fiberglass hull, she's a, a semi-displacement hull. The technology that they actually use to make these hulls is, is sort of groundbreaking in its own right. They use a lot of Kevlar in the hull here. So that means that you can use less quantities of the material, but still have a much stronger hull. So that explains the shallow draft. She's only made up of three sections um, that, that are sort of joined together to make the hull. Quite often you have uh, multiple pieces uh, that go together to, to make a hull. Um, and of course all of those uh, joins where the different sections come together you have possibilities or, or potentials there uh, if there was a, a mistake during the build process um, for some issues so it's very very strong because it's the Kevlar it's very very strong because there's only three pieces um, they have a great shape to the hull they have nice tubes for the propellers um, the the keel comes down uh, it's just slightly below the propellers, so it's nice safety there if you're doing some shallow cruising. The Caterpillar engines that they have here, they're the C32s, um, great engines. They have the ACERT rating on them, so they're higher powered. It's the common rail uh, fuel delivery system, so it means she's very, very fuel efficient. In fact, at 10 knots, the total fuel burn of Kakawi is only... Um, 25 gallons per hour which is amazing for um, a hundred foot boat so very very fuel efficient uh, fuel capacity is 5,000 gallons water capacity 600 gallons uh, she has um, the water makers on board so there's no problems there in replenishing that water and and the, the total capacities there are actually above average so she has a, a, a pretty good uh, cruising uh, distance as well uh, the speeds are another 
jaw dropper with this boat um, cruises at 18 knots top speed i have been on board when we've got you up to 30 knots um, you can maintain a, a 29 knot speed pretty easily uh, here they've marked it down to 27 but uh, i know it's slightly slightly more than that so a very very fast boat it's a very comfortable ride they have naiad stabilizers on board um, she's all around great boat and we'll see that as we as we move into the into the brochure now another fantastic um contribution that that marlo have made to kakawi is the uh, stateroom layout and the way they have it they have the uh, vip cabin and the master cabin towards the center so it's the most stable part of the boat they also have another vip cabin all the way forward to the bow um, which has a nice queen uh, bed in it and it also has two singles up above that's sort of a, a layout that's unique to marlo and then there's a twin room as well so for four cabins in total three of them are um, vip cabins it's fantastic for um, either chargeability or also for um, just to have multiple couples on board it has a, a crew cabin as well back aft uh, right at the engine room perfect spot for crew cabin um, says uh, the one cabin here it's kind of split up into two cabins though um, and that can hold up to three crew uh, the boats in Newport right now um, during the walkthrough that I did on board Kakari she was she was at Newport uh, we had plenty of people on board to come take a, a look around during part of our uh, daily yacht tours up there in, in Newport she will be coming back down here to Fort Lauderdale over the coming weeks um, as soon as the the season starts to end up there in Newport a lot of the boats do come back down here um, so the the final thing to point out here is this incredible asking price the build cost on on this boat was um, just below eight million dollars she's had plenty of plenty of upgrades all the fabrics throughout the boat were all upgraded with uh, designer fabrics it has a full gm dss system that you would see on board a container ship uh, there are solar panels um, we'll we'll see it all later but it really has some amazing features on board this boat and for an asking price of five million eight hundred and fifty thousand us dollars that's um just a, an, an incredible price for for this boat so moving into the photographs uh, the first one at the top there uh, we see that beautiful swim platform on either side of the grates that you can see there one side is the swim ladder which drops down the other side is actually a stern anchor uh, which you don't see very often uh, but you do see in certain boats we saw it on acadia when we did the review of, of that it's a great option to have and it allows you to point the boat into the oncoming swell to make her um, a lot more stable at anchor so you'd have both uh, forward and aft anchors out uh, the photograph below that is actually of the vip um, sorry the the uh, master cabin so there you can see it's a king size bed it's an ensuite on one side of the room is this nice sofa the other side is a vanity desk um, it has his and hers side to the uh, to the bathroom and throughout the boat you see the the teak and holly finish to the to the floors there and it's all burmese teak throughout you have the soji blinds across the portholes to let lots and lots of natural light in and the actual head height in in the boat throughout the the sort of lower decks and and the upper deck and into the engine room as well is very very good it's all um, sort of over six feet uh, headroom six and a half feet headroom so the top photograph on the left that's the master bathroom uh, this is her side i believe the other side is very very similar uh, the shower is in the center nice big shower it has lots of uh, sort of the jets and and the rain shower coming down so plenty of plenty of options to keep you busy there uh, 
the photograph below that is the main salon and the dining room now this is an amazing area it feels very very roomy they have a huge pop-up tv the uh, cream ceiling treatment makes it feel a lot uh, more sort of airy and vast than it, than it might be without that cream up there and also the windows around is basically 360 degrees worth of uh, windows on on the main deck she is a country kitchen style so you have that beautiful forward facing windows as well and they really do wrap around and, and give it a, a feeling of uh, sort of bringing the outside in so you have the two big sofas there also in here you have ice makers and uh, wine coolers uh, refrigerators drinks uh, storage throughout as well it's another thing worth men mentioning uh, during the build the storage was a big concern for uh, the owner the current owner is also um, the gentleman who who built the boat so he made sure that every single possible piece of, of uh, free space was was used for for storage and was utilized so that you can easily uh, put things in and out of, of that area so plenty of storage all the way around here it's the best that I've seen on any of the Marlows um, also on the upper uh, right hand side photograph this is actually moving into the VIP suite the center VIP suite and and this actually has its own access down through to the stairs you can see them there just the other side of, of the bed so that access is from the dining room private access it's almost another master cabin but those stairs there's huge storage underneath there as well there's storage either side um, of the of the uh, bed here with the drawers underneath the bed on the far port and far starboard side of the holes there's uh, cupboards there three quarter height uh, hanging closets. Um, it continues the teak and holly feel down here with and the, the uh, soji blinds that you see in the master. Also with the cream treatment for the uh, for the overheads. It's it's a very very comfortable feeling boat. Very spacious, very airy, uh, great entertaining spaces around. So moving forwards, we move into the country kitchen here. It's all melee equipment. Uh, they have sub-zero um, freezers and refrigerators throughout and dishwashers uh, they have the convection oven and the microwave then they have a full melee uh, oven and cooktop there you see those stairs that's leading up into the up into the flybridge area and we'll see that uh, in just a second here so you feel like it's a real light airy sociable boat it's it's a very comfortable feeling on board uh, this is the dining room here looking for from the salon looking forwards into the country kitchen and the pillar that you can see just to the right of that photograph that's actually part of the uh, tv cabinet so there's an, a huge tv that pops up out of there they actually have that uh, set up so that if you're at sea and it's slightly rough sea with the TV lowered down into that cabinet, there are two doors that slide open so you can actually watch the, the TV in that lower position if it's rough weather and, and, and it's not safe to bring it up. So really thought of uh, lots of different possibilities here. The table here seats uh, eight comfortably. Behind that is, is all the storage that we spoke about previously. Uh, below that is actually moving back to the aft deck there's another dining room table there that you can see uh, also comfortably seats eight uh, while we're out here actually um, there's a bar there that's just below the the sort of tinted window that you can see up against the house so that bar has a exterior grill in it it has um, plenty more storage around there it has some um fridge for uh for drinks and things and now these stools that you can see out there they're actually a, a great design and i've not seen them before but the stools actually lock into place uh sort of tight into that bar face and then when they want need to be used you can actually clip them out so that they're usable so it's a great space saving idea uh, also out here you have a day head an exterior day head on on a hundred foot boat you don't often get that perfect for 
being at anchor or, or having been out on the beach, you come up onto the beautiful swim platform and then you can rinse yourself off before you have to trudge all the salt water in through the interior. So it's perfect, perfect. And they also have a shower on that swim platform as well. Uh, there's actually two grills on board. There's a larger grill and we can see that moving into the photographs on the right. Um, at the top there, there's a huge grill. There's more drink storage there, refrigerators. There's ice makers up here. There's uh, storage underneath the bunny pad that you can see just to the left there. Um, you you can see all this a lot easier in, in the walkthrough that I do. And I'll put a link underneath this window to, to that walkthrough moving into the flybridge area uh, there are two large tables identical tables uh, sort of mirror image from from uh, port to starboard can easily seat 12 people up there forwards of that is the helm area where you have uh, repeater stations from the uh, country kitchen just forwards on the country kitchen there's there's another helm area there uh, there's actually, I forgot to mention, there's a breakfast dining area there as well up in the uh, in the country kitchen, a nice little uh, breakfast sort of nook. Um, so back up here into the, the flybridge, it's a solid uh, bimini top that they have. On top of that bimini, they have uh, plenty of solar panels for charging the uh, the batteries. You can also run the boat overnight with switching everything off. You can run it all off of the battery bank. Um, so it, great, great options for um, like they've done up in, in Newport on a sort of a, a cool night. You can switch everything off. Uh, most of the doors have screens have uh, mosquito netting across them so you can open everything up and and sort of really let the natural air in and, and switch the generators off have it completely quiet and uh, and still be nice and comfortable and and have everything off uh, everything off as far as the noise of the generators is is concerned and still have all the lights and, and use of all the, the equipment inside so back up into the the flybridge here, the glass that you see around the flybridge, it looks like um, Isinglass. It's actually called Easy to See Why. And it's the same type of thing as Isinglass. It is just a lot thicker. So it means it can hold its form a lot better. Um, so it actually feels like a solid uh, sort of sealed off environment up there. It's very, very comfortable with having everything sealed down. Um, so. As I mentioned up top, it has the solar panels, also has the um, satellite domes, it has the uh, FLIR night vision camera, it has antennas for um, the GMDSS, GPS, uh, satellite TV, the KVH domes for um, broadband internet and, and cell phone reception as well. Um, so plenty, plenty of, of equipment that's fitted on board. Down into the engine room, great ventilation around here, has six and a half foot of headroom. So the uh, once the engines are up and running and the uh, motors are at, at full power, so pushing along at, at sort of 28 knots, you, there's really not any overheating issues or, or anything in here because they've they really put a lot of thought into that. Uh, some nice exterior shots here of her underway there at the top on the left hand side there you can see the tender as well that's a 15 foot Novarania the crane that's on board is actually a 2200 pound crane uh, as far as the lifting capabilities there so you can actually put a bigger tender up there and that whole deck is actually a huge huge area you can really see it in the walkthrough that I do uh, of the boat so be sure to click on that uh, we also have the, the yacht pack available and ready to go for this boat. So that'll have in it all the, the photographs and descriptions and specifications. So that's uh, ready to be emailed out. Just let me know if, if you'd like to uh, receive that. The lower photograph there on the, the left hand side is our uh, nice big swim platform. And over on the right is the uh, easy to see why glass and then all the equipment fitted to the uh, to the mast there and, and the bimini top. 
So moving into the write up, it's a, a, a pretty big um, write up here. They've they've sort of described just about everything that's on board. Now, um, I'll I'll run through this very very briefly. As I mentioned, the yacht pack is is here and ready to go, and it has all this information in there, so you'll be able to read through it in your own time. I'll pick out a couple of of um, main points. The hours that it says are on the engines there. It says 200 hours. They're actually at, at closer to 550 now, um, with them moving from Fort Lauderdale up to uh up to newport and then doing a couple of trips around newport they they have uh, raised those hours but still very very low um, it, it details some of the interior fixtures and fittings like the burmese teak interior all of the teak and holly uh flooring that is the same throughout the boat i mean they really don't scrimp on on uh, the interior fit and finish here the same quality that you'll see in the salon and the master cabin runs through all of the cabins it's actually worth mentioning that during the build the boat was designed to have an extra uh, cabin in the guest foyer area uh, which would have just been either a bunk or, or a single uh, a, a single bed there Towards the end of the build, the owner decided to remove that because he wanted it to feel a bit more open and, and area in that in that lobby um, area. So he actually changed that into a laundry area. So the boat now has this great laundry room, the bed that was going to be used or the cabinetry that was that was enclosing the bed has now been changed into a deep freezer storage and some other just general storage areas so they really utilized it well it means that you have a lot more um sort of areas just to to store food if you're going on on bigger trips and it also gives the crew a nice area to do everything that they have to do for the sort of general day-to-day -day, uh, running of the boat actually that's a good point as, as well about the crew and the um, usability of the boat and and the owner experience the boat only runs with two crew they bring on a third every now and then uh, to help with a wash down or if you're dropping guests off or just about to pick guests up and you need sort of some extra help then they bring on a third crew member but in day-to-day -day running of the boat she only runs with two crew add that towards the fuel efficiency she's a very very cheap boat to run for a, a boat of a hundred foot in in length, you certainly wouldn't experience the uh, the same sort of levels of, of uh, efficiency with with any other manufacturer, or even be able to run a hundred foot boat with just two crew. So very very easy to uh, easy to see why these boats are so are so popular. Uh, it runs through some of the interior layout. We see the four cabins with a three being VIP cabins, also with the crew area back aft. Uh, the engine room there towards the bottom on the right hand side, it mentions the six and a half foot headroom, which is fantastic on a, on a boat this size. Generally, um, they do have certain issues with, with overheating, certainly when you're running the, the uh, engines towards sort of uh, 95 to 100% load. Now moving into the galley, all of the countertops here are all called Caesar Stone. It's uh, an imitation or a manufactured uh, granite. It looks very similar to granite, but quite often with granite you get have problems of it cracking with the, the interior of the boat sort of heating up and cooling down, especially in country kitchens because you have all the windows and, and it's direct sort of sunlight onto that countertop quite often around the sink you'll see it starting to crack in the corners around around the weak areas that's not an issue here with the caesar stone cabinet tops um very very forgiving uh, very durable very strong um and and looks identical as far as i'm concerned to uh, to granite you, you'd never know the difference uh, the trash compactors, Miele oven, the induction range top, uh, microwave has those sub-zero fridge freezer drawers. Uh, there's drinking faucets there. 
the uh, forward companionway. This is where the laundry area is that was originally designed as a separate room. It actually has its own TV there as well, separate lighting. So it really is uh, sort of a, um, everything that, that would go towards a, a uh, separate cabin, but they just changed it at the last end at the uh, last minute. So they have uh, melee washer and dryers in there. Uh, they have a Furuno console as well so that you can see certain um, sort of speed and, and depth and things, readings. And the TV that's in there and, and this is where the other freezer is and the built-in storage that I mentioned before. <coughs> a master cabin is the king bed, his and hers bathrooms, nice big TV in there. Uh, the VIP cabin. That's also center line of the boat or towards the center of, of, of the boat. Uh, that has the queen berth in there. Also on suite has a beautiful separate um, sort of toilet area. Then the shower is towards the center and then it has the, uh, the vanities off to, off to the uh, starboard side. The forward... Um, VIP cabinet has a queen towards the center, then it has a, a single berth uh, to port and starboard, so it's a high occupancy cabin, so you can actually fit four people in there. Uh, great for families, also great for the nannies if you want to put the nannies in with the kids. Um, and then we have the port uh, guest stateroom with the two single berths. Um, I've actually stayed in that cabin before. Very, very comfortable. Uh, all the cabins are en suite. They all have their own satellite TV, separate um, sort of satellite control, has the Bose entertainment system, plenty of portholes with the Soji blinds, and very, very, very comfortable. Uh, moving into the pilot house, this is a small pilot house that's uh, built into part of the country kitchen. So uh, forward of that uh, countertop, the Caesar stone countertop, um, right underneath the forward facing windows is the, the breakfast um, sort of dinette area. And then next to that is this, uh, this, this pilot house. So that has all water maker controls. It has NIAD stabilizer controls. Uh, you can read off of the, the tanks and the uh, power monitoring system from the screens there it has nice big 17 inch screens for the uh, Furunos has um, remote controls for the fire dampeners for the engine room um, the battery gauges <coughs> um, also the inverter monitors are here now the boat does have full AC uh, transformers on board so you can take any power into the boat at all so it can really go anywhere in the world and, and still operate under its normal conditions. Um, has the operations for the floor cameras here as well. Um, the other station is up in the flybridge and that's really a repeater station for here so it again it has all the Furuno screens, um, GMDSS controls and uh, bow and stern thruster controls as well. Very, very maneuverable. Um, so moving forward, uh, details there about the VIP cabin, crew quarters. We can see all that during the, the walkthrough. The bridge up on the flybridge. Um, this is a pretty big, pretty big write up. So, so get that, get that yacht pack. Um, towards the, the end here, it just mentions about the uh, deck equipment, so the fresh water and salt water wash downs, uh, the stern and aft, uh, sorry, the stern and bow anchors, the 2200 pound uh, crane on the flybridge. It already has the uh, 15 foot Nordica rib. Uh, it is a Nordica, I think I, I said it was a, a Novrania earlier, so it's, it's a Nordica rib. Uh, has a, a GMDS, uh, sorry, a, a GPS screen up there, the chart plotters. Um, it does have a bimini top, so the soft bimini top for the tender as well, which can fold down. And it's got a great brand new uh, 70 horsepower 
uh, Yamaha engine on the back. So really, really nice boat. Um, basically brand new. Uh, everything on this boat is, is basically brand new. It all got upgraded out of the yard. All the fabrics got changed for designer fabrics. The uh, crockery and, and stemware on board all got upgraded as well. The the flooring throughout and all of the Burmese teak is predominantly satin finish. It does have some um, sort of high gloss trim pieces around, but a very, very comfortable feeling on board and a great opportunity at that price. The uh, $5,850,000 is, is, is basically um, uncompared with anything else that, that's on the market for its age 2011 there is one other Marlow uh, the the same model as, as this it has an enclosed bridge um, and they are almost 800,000 um, above Kakari as far as the asking price goes the owner for this boat is very very motivated he uh, will use this or intended to use the boat for family and for business trips he realized that this is a little bit too small for what he intended the boat for so he's ready to move into a, a, a bigger boat so he's very very motivated to uh, to let this go and, uh, and sort of continue his his yachting journey so we'll leave it there for for today um, the yacht pack as i mentioned is is ready to go for kakari i can email it to you at any time just let me know uh, whether you'd like that or not over towards the uh, right hand side of your screen if you're on insideyachting.com is our yacht pack button just leave your your name and email there and uh, the name of the boat and i'll email that off to you right away uh, we have yacht packs ready for every boat that's currently for sale on the market and the yacht packs are full of all photographs and detailed descriptions and specifications so really everything that you'd want to know about the boat when you're sort of starting your your uh, your search for for what will be right for you now we also do weekly yacht tours so they run th every day throughout the week um, in the south florida area so we we pick different boats to take groups of, of people around so that you can start experiencing the boats firsthand if you'd like to join us for these uh, yacht tours then Again, over on the right hand side, click on the Yacht Tours button. Let us know what time would be best for you and, and um, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, to squeeze you in. So that's it, great um, great boat. The Fort Lauderdale show is coming up. We're just about to finish the guides for that. So we'll be sure to email them off to you right away. So keep a lookout for, for those emails and um, keep a lookout for uh, next week's review where we'll be going through some some other flybridge style boats so thanks for joining and we'll see you next time